All right, Jen, so we've had a lot of questions about um, why a lot of us are running two-point slings on our guns. Go back through history and you look at where, you know, 30, 40 years ago, we started running slings on our rifles. They primarily think the old leather slings on the old M14s, or you'd wrap your arm through them and that would help you uh, stabilize the front of the gun when you were shooting without a bipod or off of sandbags. Uh, it's great for added accuracy. Fast forward to the M16, and the M16 had a sling that attached up on the front sight down on the stock, and that was for guys could have it slung over their shoulders while they were marching in parades. Now, the, the problem with that short sling was when you put it around you, you could not bring it up and uh, shoot prone with it. It just wasn't long enough to do it. So they, they then came up with what was called the three-point sling. Right, they took two of those old M16 slings, we ran one down the side of our gun, and then the other one was attached just at the back, ran around your body, and we actually had like a little ring that would run up and down this. So it still allowed us to hang the rifle, but if we had to drop in the prone, the sling was long enough, this part would slide back, and it would allow us to get in a prone and move our, our sling around on our rifle. That was the birth of the three-point sling. Lots of different models, and we used to run them for quite a while. Ran them through Afghanistan, uh, initial invasion of Iraq. I even ran them on my old SR-25 for using it in the house. That's fine. Then everybody's like, well, why do I need to have that extra strap in the way? Hence the birth of the one-point sling. Guys would run it around their body. They'd attach it back here. Uh, and it'd basically be a loop just attached at one area, and that would allow them to hang the gun on the front of their body armor. Uh, guys took it a step further, and they didn't even have it going around their body. It was actually woven in as part of the front of their kit, and it just hooked right there, a little four inch long strap, little quick release. And the one point sling, yeah, it had the advantages that you could bring it up and shoot, but uh, climbing ladders, things like that, it hung on your front. You couldn't slide it up over your back like you can a two-point sling or a three-point sling. All right, so what did everybody do? We ended up going back to a two-point sling. All right, now, um, you'll see a lot of guys now, the sexy thing to do is they only hang their sling around their neck. Guys, that's fine if all you're doing is you're on a flat range and it's no big deal, but I'm here to tell you overseas, wearing body armor all day long out with your rifle, this gets heavy. That's not how you're gonna do it. You're gonna actually run it around your back, right? So train that way. Now, that said, once the fight starts, once you start doing the drills, if you want to bring that arm through, that now allows you to switch shoulders a lot easier. Uh, gives you a little more added room now. So you see, that's why we run two-point slings now. Right? It still allows me uh, the maneuverability. It's ran out a lot. Uh, if I need to, I can actually slide the gun up over my shoulder. Right? So it hangs across my back. So that way I can climb ladders with just my pistol out. It uh, uh, gives me the latitude, those caving ladders uh, underneath helicopters on the sides of ships. You don't have to worry about your rifle getting hung up on things. Now, if you're gonna run a two-point sling, one thing I recommend you add is a Fastec buckle right up near the end. Uh, yes, you can push the quick releases if you have them. To me, with gloves, that's a pain in the neck to use. I, I prefer a Fastec buckle, just one. Why? Helicopter uh, goes down in the water. Um, MRAP rolls into a a 12 foot deep canal, water coming in, you need to be able to get out of all this gear very, very quickly. And cutaway body armor is completely worthless if you're slinging your weapon is holding all that stuff on your body. All right, so anyways, I don't care what brand of sling you use. I'm not gonna tell you what brand mine is. All right, all I'm saying is get a good, good type sling. I don't care if you use a one point, two point, or three point, or whatever sling you use, practice with it and uh, get all that muscle memory. All right, I know how you're gonna fight with that gear. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything. If you like the shirt that we're wearing in the video, you can get it in our store.